Okay, guys, we're gonna replicate the mirror handle that I posted before. So we're gonna draw a sketch of the mirror and then we're gonna banter saw it or uh, sawzall it. So check this Welcome out. Back. So what we're gonna do today for this project is we're gonna make a mirror, a handle, which is based in the shape of Hathor. So I'll show you how to do that right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece of wood, a two by 10 or two by eight, excuse me. And then we're gonna draw out the handle. And then from there, we're gonna cut it out. And then we're gonna have to file it down with uh, some filers to get it down. And then we'll design the face as well. So stay tuned for that. All right now, so here's the drawing and the Hathor sketch. What we're gonna do is gonna cut this out around and then we're gonna go ahead and then start shaping it and rounding it out. So stay tuned. So that. now we're gonna take this Hathor, we're gonna chop it down a little bit. It's a little too thick, but you see where I made a cut there using this table saw? Uh, then I'm basically going to do the same over here. I'm just gonna bring this down a little so it can be a nice handle. So stay tuned after I'm done cutting, I'll show you the split piece. Hey everybody, so you can see here that now this is complete. Um, now the handle's a little smaller, so I cut it in half, but I'm gonna go ahead and drill some holes like you see here and just open up this area so I can carve it down with a Dremel. So stay tuned for that and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, unfortunately we chipped it right over here, so we're gonna have to throw this away. So instead we made a new one and we're gonna use poplar, a more solid wood, which is really good quality wood. So we'll cut another one out and we'll start over again. Like the bush. in here, uh, the handle is roughly cut out. So we're gonna be able to soften it out, round it out. You can see I was rounding it out a bit over here. And we're gonna have this pretty much done by the end of the day. And then the next step is to carve out the face. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> Hey everyone, okay, now you can see how I've rounded the bottom, the handle. I'm gonna round it some more, I'm gonna straighten it up so it looks like a, the, uh, a pillar, but more closely to a papyrus pillar plant. So that's how it's supposed to look like. You can see here how I fashioned the handle so far. You can see the face is developed, I'm rounding the inside. You can see it's getting a little rounded over here. So we're gonna hopefully make it a little better by more detail and get the face uh, drawn out as well. So stay tuned for that. All right, so this is showing you a little bit of the refinement. I've done some detail over here. There'll be some uh, papyrus detail at the bottom over here and a little bit on the top of the head. So that's going to be inscribed, but I'll flip it over and show you the ears are done. Everything's kind of smoothed out. And this is what the face is going to look like. So uh, we'll hopefully start working on that and see what it looks like from there, guys. But overall, it's almost done. Maybe a couple of days, I'll finish the face. I'll finish the bottom. It won't be 100% perfect, but it'll give it some kind of resemblance. here so far the ears have been carved out now we're working on the face we're only going to do one side not two sides uh just to keep it simple and quick for myself but yeah you can see the face is starting to develop and the ears as well all right everyone so you can see i've pretty much done the face i'm not going to spend too much time on this piece uh just clean it up i'll sand it down so it looks nice and sharp and you can see i've already added the decoration on the bottom here for the papyrus plant and on the very top of the head, which goes all the way around and on the bottom as well. So what we're gonna do, all we're gonna do really is just carve it out gently, just the lines themselves, because once we lay the over uh, the gild or the gold leaf, it's gonna come out the detail. So we don't have to worry so much about the drawing, it's just more about etching it out. I was using this uh, Dremel bit, uh, it has like a, uh, a rounded disc on it, if you could see. Uh, it's basically what's gonna do, it's gonna create a curve, uh, indentation, or bear, it's gonna bury itself in there and create a line. And that's all we need. Once we put the, uh, the gold leaf on top, this 
the part that's going to basically be buried in is going to stick out more. So you'll see it once we put the gold leaf on. So stay tuned for that. All right, so I think this is pretty much complete. You can see I did the uh, papyrus decoration on the back there, on the very top, and also on the very bottom we have it. Now we're going to lay the, uh, the leaf, the gold leaf on it, and we'll see what it looks like. But that's it. We're just going to stick to that, and uh, let's see what the gold leaf looks like. All right, you can see now that we're ready to put the gold leaf on. Uh, we have the glue. This is the glue that goes, uh, creates an adhesive anywhere you put it and then when you put the gold leaf on it it kind of just starts grasping onto and then we'll use a brush to brush it off and i'll show you guys the process okay hey everybody so you can see i'm taking a little bit of this uh, adhesive glue it's used for gold leaf and i just brush a little bit on to the wood and try to get it in there not to leave it lumpy like that but just kind of make sure it's nice and slick and clean and uh, this is basically what we're going to use we're going to let it dry and then from there it's basically going to grab on to the gold leaf that we're going to apply. You can see over here, the gold leaf, that's gonna to adhere to that. So we're just gonna wait until, spread. I mean, you spread it really nice and then wait for it to dry a bit and make sure then to apply it. So we're gonna apply it at the handle first, uh, all over this handle, and then we'll work the face at the end with the, the top of the head. So stay tuned for that. All right, everybody, you can see here, the gold leaf is already on the handle. I'm gonna work up to the face. I'm just letting this glue dry up there. You can see the uh, metallic color. If I wanted to make it look more metallic, I'd add more gold leaf to it. But for now, we're just gonna leave it this way. And then, yeah, that's it. So let's just uh, finish this off and then go from there. Hey guys, you can see here a little bit how the uh, gold leaf has covered the material. You see, I laid a leaf down by taking some of that leaf and putting it on top like that. And then I used a brush to brush it off so if I could show you how I do it, so what we do is now we have a leaf on there and we just use the brush, see, it starts to, it flakes off, but that's the point. It's supposed to grab onto the glue and that's how we do it, guys. All right, everyone, again, you can see the gold leaf of the face. The wood is not as smooth or else we would have a better smooth look, but it's okay, it captures a bit of the, uh, the face so it's basically about pressing it down as much as possible to get around the details so we'll finish this up guys and show you what it looks like you can see i'm starting to get through the back area here all right now everyone the uh mirror handle is complete it's been gilded uh, as you can see here the face is complete uh, the back as well has been gilded you can see the detail of the of the papyrus there and the bottom so there it is, this is the completion. I'm, the next step is to add the mirror on top where the hole is, and then basically just have it, uh, yeah, come out. There it is, the uh, mirror of Hathor, which is traditional to ancient Egyptian. And we're going to add the mirror hopefully tomorrow, and then we should have that completed. So stay tuned for the mirror, guys. Thanks for watching so far. Hey everyone, so just so you know now, I'm taking a piece of steel and cut out a circle around it here and that's gonna be the mirror. We're gonna buff it after, but you can see we put a little lip and that's gonna go inside the mirror. So we're gonna cut this out with a grinder and then begin to polish it out. So stay tuned for that. All right, you can see guys here that the plate is cut, but now we're gonna cut in pieces until we get around the circle, until we have a full circle, and then we grind it to clean it up, and that should have our mirror. All right, you can see how the mirror is rough draft right now, and now we're gonna smooth that out again with a different grinder, and that's gonna make it look like a nice mirror, and that's gonna be the lip that goes in the wood. All right, guys, so you can see with the, the grinder here, we're able to round it out a bit, the mirror. And we're gonna clean it up and then we're gonna start the buffing process. So stay tuned for okay, that. Okay, now you can see the plate is done. I softened the edges. It's pretty nicely circular. Now I'm just gonna try to burnish it so we can get that nice little shine and then we'll give it a polish afterwards. All right, everyone. So you can see here a bit of the polishing process. I'm gonna do a little bit more to get it nice and, nice and high polish. We're gonna then leave the back pretty much flat, but I'll give it a decoration. But now we're basically cutting the bottom part here to fit the handle and we're going to put a strong adhesive to lock onto it. So uh, let me just work on that and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, everyone. So you can see here the mirror is complete. Uh, the insertion of the piece inside is done. Uh, and basically we're going to keep that nice and light on the back there. But over here we're going to basically polish it up as you can see we've done over there. 
I'm gonna put a bit of epoxy and that's gonna tighten it and seal it up. But that's pretty much the end of the mirror for now, but we'll uh, polish it up and come back again. Hey everybody, so now we're gonna do a little, uh, use the drill press to put a little bit of a hole inside the actual mirror handle so we can then put a bit in to support the mirror itself, the actual physical mirror. So, which is, which is basically gonna go in here. So, all right, let's do that. All right, now we're gonna make the hole inside the, uh, the steel plate mirror. So then we can have our support in there. So that's what we're gonna do the next step. So here we go. We have a hole on both sides and we have a hole in the steel. So I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna show you guys. So the steel goes into the handle now. Okay. And by doing that, now we have a pin. So we'll put the pin in. This is how the Egyptians did it. They passed the pin that went right through the steel and it came back from the other side. Okay, let's try to get that in there as much as I can. Yeah, so there it is. I don't know if you can see it. The pin is kind of sticking out a little. So this holds it in position. So then at the very end, what we're going to do is going to put the epoxy and that's going to pour into the liquid and then it's going to keep it nice and sturdy and firm. But for now, we're going to take the steel off and we're going to put steel polisher and we're going to rub it down with a cloth. And that should give it a nice polish and then it'll be ready to put together. You can see now that I've put some of the Autosol metal uh, polisher, a little liquid right there. And all we do now is just take a little cloth and I've already done some. And we just go in circles like that. And this is gonna polish the mirror. It's gonna take some time, but it's gonna get there. So we're just gonna keep going at it until we get a nice shine and a nice mirror-like look. So stay tuned, this is gonna take some time. So I'll, I'll come back to you guys and I'll show you how it looks like in a bit. Hey everybody, so now what we decided is to use the sander and using different grits, what we're gonna do is create a polish. After, you can see now that I have a little bit of a mirror on it, a little mirror effect, which is really good. The next thing to do is get it sanded nice and fine. We're to the point where now we use a buffer and then we'll use a buffing wheel or a denim buffing wheel and then we should get a nice shine polish as a mirror. So stay tuned for that. So I'll show you guys how it works. Then, let's keep going, keep going until you get a nice, reasonable clean shine. Stay tuned until I finish it up today. All right now guys, so the mirror is done. I'm not gonna polish it to an exact mirror because that's not what they had in ancient times. They had something like a mirror. So you could see my phone, but the other side is way better. So you can see, you could see yourself pretty properly here. And you can see my shirt. And then that's it. That will mount onto the actual headpiece and we'll glue it in today. But it's a pretty reasonably good mirror and it will do the job required. I think we'll just use this side since it has less scratches on it. And that's it, that's the mirror, it's complete. And we'll insert it, we'll put the pin and put the epoxy glue and we should be done. All right, everybody, so the mirror is done. I'll just show you here that we added the pin and we filed it down and we're gonna just re-gild it again. But the mirror has been attached and it's been epoxy to give it uh, solidity. We're gonna sand that down tomorrow and then we'll add some more gilding on there. But there it is, guys, there's the mirror of Hathor.